Gilles the Giraffe, where have you been? Well, I was in Paris for a while. So I am back now and I say to myself, I must go visit the storyteller and see what she is up to. Why? I am up to always in trouble. Of course you are. Let us begin the reading. I have Monsieur Voice. Ugh, the French. So romantic. Always in trouble. Are you always in trouble? Gosh, I was always in trouble when I was a kid. They said I talk too much. It comes in handy now as a storyteller, though, don't you think? Emma's dog, Toby, was always in trouble. On Monday, he got into the garbage. On Tuesday, he ran into the road. On Wednesday, he ate a loaf of bread that Emma's dad had just baked. On Thursday, he barked in the middle of the night. On Friday, he wet the rug. On Saturday, he chewed up all the buttons on Emma's new coat. On Sunday, he snoozed. No one looks pleased. Hmm. But on Monday morning, he got into the garbage again. Something has to be done about that dog, said Emma's mom. Uh, maybe he isn't getting enough attention, said Emma. So all day Monday, she gave Toby lots of attention. She took him for walks and brushed his fur and sang him silly songs. He looks amused. But on Tuesday, Toby ate a box of crayons. You know, that's not even delicious. I don't know why he would do that. On Wednesday, he jumped into the basket of clean laundry that Emma's mom had just finished folding. Oh no, not my clean laundry! He was very good on Thursday. He was very good on Friday. But on Saturday, he chewed up a magazine. And on Sunday, he went wading in the muddy brook and then ran across the clean kitchen floor. Something has to be done about that dog! cried Emma's mom. Maybe he needs to go to dog training school, said Emma. What a great idea, said Emma's mom. The first class started the very next day. Thank goodness. No time to waste. There were 10 dogs in Toby's class. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Some were big, some were little. This one's very long. Some yipped and some growled and some whined. Toby was as quiet as a goldfish. Huh, maybe he's scared. He behaved perfectly at school every week and he did everything just right. Look at that, he's being a teacher's pet. Literally, when Emma said sit, he sat. When Emma said come, he came. When Emma said heel, he stood right by her side. Huh, being the model dog. He was the best dog said Ms. Katz, the teacher, when the classes were all over. At graduation, she gave Toby a diploma with a gold seal. What? Emma's mom tacked the diploma low down on the wall right over Toby's dog dish. Now you know how to behave, she said to Toby. Does he? Does he? Does he? But on Monday, Toby got into the garbage. On Tuesday, he ran into the road. On Wednesday, he ate the cookies that Emma's dad had just baked. I didn't even get to taste one. On Thursday, he barked in the middle of the night and woke everyone up. Arr, quiet. On Friday, wet the rug. On Saturday, he dug up the petunias Emma and her mom had just planted. Well, that's just not right. On Sunday, he chewed up his diploma. That's the ultimate. Something has got to be done about that dog, cried Emma's mom. Emma took him back to dog school. Does he sit, said Miss Katz. Yes, said Emma. Does he come, asked Miss Katz. Yes, said Emma. Does he heal? Yes. Well, then what's the trouble, asked Miss Katz. So, Emma told her. I see, said Miss Katz. If you want a specially trained dog, you'll have to leave him with me for the week. Okay, said Emma. 
Okay, let's see what happens. Emma missed Toby all week. He was very happy to see her when she picked him up. Probably relieved that she did pick him up. I hope you've learned something this time, said Emma's mom. Please, Toby, Emma whispered to him. You've got to be good now. Toby licked Emma's face. He had a strange twinkle in his eye. Aww. On Monday, he took out the garbage. On Tuesday, he baked some bread. What? On Wednesday, he vacuumed the rug. On Thursday, he folded the laundry. On Friday, he washed the kitchen floor. On Saturday, he planted some petunias. And on Sunday, he snoozed. What a turnaround. But no dog can be perfect always. Not even Toby, who just crashed through the book. Whoop, here we go. Squirrel! Oh, cannot deny the power of a squirrel. And that is the story of Always in Trouble. Bravo, bravo, storyteller, bravo. I would totally clap if I had hands. That was brilliant, and it was worth my transatlantic flight from Paris. Just to hear your voice, tell me a sweet, sweet story once again. I shall never leave you again. Wow, Gilles, your devotion to me is quite moving. I shall keep you with me always. Thank you, and thank you, children, for keeping her occupied while I was away. You may leave now. No, I don't want them to leave. Well, fine. I shall go light the candles now. Excuse me. Give me a few minutes. All right. Well, you heard the French Gilles. He wants to create apparently a special ambiance since he just got back. I hope you enjoyed. Always in trouble. And don't listen to him. Do come back. I like having you here, okay? I hear you. Okay. Okay, Gilles. I'll be right there. All right, kids. See you next time on Kid Time Story Time. And if you're always in trouble, once in a while, stay out of trouble. You know what I'm saying? Break it up a little bit. Bye.